For anyone looking for solutions, there's no place like home. This is the Cohen residence, a pleasant three bedroom in Snowmass, Colorado. But lurking beneath the surface, an energy eating monster. More than half the electricity in the United States goes into buildings in one form or another. Many homes waste more energy than they use. A team of eco-detectives is investigating the Cohen house for crimes against the climate. So this innocent looking thing here, when it is on, eats a whole lot of money. When I feel this much cold on the outside of the freezer, I know that the, the insulation is really not as thick as we would as we would like. For Amory Lovins, solutions start with efficiency. Reducing the use of energy that produces CO2 emissions. I think once people understand that climate protection puts money back in your pocket because you don't have to buy all that fuel, political resistance is going to melt faster than glaciers. Do you see that little red light down in the corner? Lovins is a sort of new age meter reader hell-bent on killing wasted watts. If you have all kinds of appliances, you know, your TV, your VCR, your DVD, et cetera, that have that little light on, yes, they're using electricity. It's called vampire loads. 109 watts, almost 60 bucks a year, just sitting there turned off. If every household in the U.S. killed off their wasted vampire loads, we could eliminate at least 18 coal-fired power plants Next to our homes, the second largest source of emissions we're responsible for is parked right outside. Cars produce nearly 20% of global greenhouse gases. Nowhere is the problem of emissions from transportation more urgent than in developing countries, especially China. I don't think we can turn around to the Chinese and say, I'm sorry, we need to save the future of the planet. The rich countries have to take the lead, and we have to cut our emissions in a much more dramatic sense in order to allow some room for growth in the poorer countries. To keep warming below the critical two degree threshold, we need to cut seven billion tons of greenhouse gas emissions every year, doubling the average fuel efficiency of all cars from 15 miles per gallon to 30 would save one billion tons but we would still need to cut billions more from our carbon footprint to stay on the safe side of plus two degrees. We have an arsenal solutions already. It's gonna be solar, and it's gonna be wind, and it's gonna be tidal power, and it's going to be thermal power. All of these different things working together actually give us a pretty good ability to get away from the fossil fuel economy. Right now, the average temperature has only risen 0.8 degrees Celsius but we don't have much time.